Gold Coast today. As you can see, we got a few swans in the background there. And what we're going to be doing is hopefully another catch and cook video. Now, I just flew the drone up and got some footage of these canals because a lot of people are asking me, like, what is a canal? What does it look like? So I decided to fly the drone around it just to give you a bit of an idea. And yeah, so that's where all these fish are. Now, there's everything living in these canals stingrays, brim, flathead, mullet, and even bull sharks. A couple days ago, I saw about a meter and a half bull shark at night swim right past the jetty, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I, I tried to catch it, but sadly, it didn't work. So yeah, I've resorted to trying to catch flathead. I had to order dominoes all week because I haven't been catching any fish, which is what you want. Shout out to Jamie. <laughs> he came to my door and is like, oh, I watch your videos on YouTube. But yeah, let's start flicking around and hopefully we'll catch a flathead. Never seen that true supreme. saw caught that little brim right there filleted it did everything to it now what we're gonna do is we're gonna chuck this brim in the freezer leave it overnight we might come back down here in a few hours and keep fishing see what we can catch and yeah pretty much if we don't catch anything tonight we'll keep fishing tomorrow and yeah hopefully make a big catch and cook with a few different species but if not I'm definitely happy with that brim for now so let's go chuck them up in the freezer and we'll see you guys tomorrow Just chucked out the bread, we've left it here, and as you can see, see that? That little ripple on the surface? That's mullet eating it off the top. Just missed it, but they're still there, so that's the first shot I've taken, but hopefully I can get one. And there is a few smaller mullet coming down here. I'm tempted to take a shot at one, but we're really looking for that. I thought I saw a shark. Seagull. Seagull, yeah. <laughs> well, they look so similar. They both start with S though. That's why I got confused. Yeah. Alright, but as I was saying, there has been a few smaller mullets swimming through here. I've been tempted to take a shot, but I'm really holding out for that big one because that's going to get the big fill on top of it. So by this point, we had actually shot one mullet, but the excitement was short-lived because we realised we weren't filming when it happened. And since I was eager to get one on camera, we persisted, waited, and it finally paid off. I think. Oh, big, big one. See him moving. Did I? I missed him. Oh, look, there he is. Oh, he's injured. He's injured. Quickly, I need another winged him. Can you still see him? Mm -hmm. I don't know if that got him. That got him. It got him right <laughs> through the head. Oh. <laughs> the first one stunned him because it just came off his top, and then I got him. So, as you can see, what happened was I saw him in the shallows, shot him one time, it got him across the top, but he missed, and I could see him swimming off, and um, yeah, luckily he got stunned by it, and then as you can see, the second shot right through the head there, and yeah, that's two mullet, that's two mullet we got so far. 
How good is that? So as you can see, that's the end result for about 20 minutes of bow fishing, which is actually really cool. Now, I didn't expect to catch these two big mullet while I was down here. I'm not sure how big they look on this, but I'd say the big one would be around 50 centimeters and this one would be just under that. But yeah, take a look at that. There's some really nice sized mullet right there and I'm keen to cook them up. Sadly, we can't cook it up today as the sun's going down. I always start my videos in the afternoon for some reason. But yeah, take a look at those mullet. You can see all the little mullet that are busting up out there on the bread that we threw out. I've been trying to do a mullet video for so long. It's like the fish that no one likes, but they're literally my favorite. Make sure you check in with your local fisheries to check if you can bow fish in your area. I know there's a few different rules going around, so make sure you check up to make sure it is legal. All right, everyone, so it's the next day. I nearly forgot to actually cook these mullet. I was editing the video and then I was like, oh geez, I need to actually cook them. So I pulled them out of the freezer. They're still de-thawing at the moment. We got a simple recipe here today. We got some milk, egg, flour, vegetable oil, lemon, mullet, and then we're just gonna make a small batter with everything. Now, the thing is, we've got barely any gas left in the gas cooker, so that's gonna be the real problem. So what I need to do first is actually cut fillets off this mullet. Now, I just got the broom there just to show that I caught a broom too, but still a fat broom. Don't call me fat again, okay? So pretty much what we're gonna do, get behind that pectoral fin as I like to call it. Just cut down, no meat missed there. Then what we're gonna do is just get the knife like that. I think I'm gonna become a professional mullet filleter. And then you can always chuck that in the crab pot or use it as shark bait later. Don't need that one. All right, so as you can see, we just cut those mullet fillets up there down the jetty. But what we're gonna do now is actually cut them into smaller pieces because we don't have much gas in the gas cooker. So we'll just cut them up like this. Thus, trying to be fancy. We have the mullets. Right, so there we go, there's our fish bite. So I'm gonna crack these out. We've got milk in here, so we'll... So dad didn't film <laughs> for all of that. How far? Back? I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I film, stopped filming yesterday. Yeah. We dropped it in with the milk. Then we dropped our fish bites in here. And then we put them in the flour. And that's pretty much all you need to do. And then what that does, it adds a bit of stuff on them. Let's call it batter. <laughs> yeah. And then they will be ready to cook. I'm preparing myself for the pressure right now. We've got like one minute of gas and a thick fry pan that's like that thick. It's, it takes like five minutes just to heat up. And to add to it, there's like basically a cyclone going on right now. Well, maybe not a cyclone, but like there's wind. I saw some trampolines getting blown out of people's yards. So we're gonna chuck some oil in the pan. We're gonna shallow fry them. So normally if you had more gas, you'd wait for it to heat up, then throw the fish in, but we're desperate. So <laughs> we're gonna chuck the fish in straight away. It looks like Turkish delight, eh? Tempted to eat one. I love the word mullet. Runs smoothly out of the mouth, mullet. But yeah, I love mullet. So you really don't need much for this. All you need to get is some egg, milk, flour, and yeah, some oil, gas cooker, and a mullet. I say you don't need much for this, but I list like 30 different things. And I'm gonna do a quick Q&A because I get like hundreds of thousands of I get four comments on my <laughs> YouTube account. It was the five last question. week, but three of them were the same person and telling me to stop doing videos. <laughs> but the one guy who did ask. And then he said, oh, wrong channel, so. <laughs> yeah, um, I get like a lot of questions on my channel and obviously I can't reply to all of them. So dad's gonna ask me the most asked questions that I get on my channel and I'm gonna answer them right now. Are you a boy or a girl? <laughs> <laughs> so many people ask if I'm a boy or a girl. A bit of both, I change every Wednesday. <laughs> Well, the turning point for my channel where it really took off was I posted a video of me catching an eel. I know, it's like, it's a bit of a weird thing to go viral, but um, it's got like 7 million views now. It was just, literally just me going up the creek, catching an eel, doing what I'd normally do. And then a company from America actually saw that video, and at the time they were looking for young kids around my age, and they were looking for people to go on a TV show. So then I went over there, went on a TV show hosted by Steve Harvey. It was called Little Big Shots, actually. Here's a snippet of that right now. If I was in the outback, if I, would, would I survive? No. <laughs> Well, then you wouldn't make it in the hood, either. <laughs> Any other animals? Oh, yeah, I've got one more that I'd like to show you. <laughs> hey, man, we're gonna... thanks a lot for coming, Miller. Start moving out here. <laughs> 
and then I came back and I released another viral video that also took off. I actually helped a stingray give birth and I think that got like 50 million views on Facebook. And then I've just been doing different things. I went to Bali, kissed a king cobra and everything. Yeah, and the great thing is when people write in saying, Miller, you inspired me to get outdoors because I remember when I was 12, 11, 12 years old, the people who inspired me were people like Bear Grylls, Steve Irwin, Andrew Eccles, and without them, I wouldn't be doing this right now. So it's always good that I can inspire other people to get outdoors and do their own kind of thing. YouTube just brought in a thing where you actually have to have a thousand subscribers before you start earning money. So what I'm gonna be doing in the future videos is just basically helping some people out and giving them shout outs, doing shout out competition. If you want a shout out on this channel, all you need to do is like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. That's all you need to do, and then you go into the draw. So a message that I would have really liked to receive when I was starting my channel, because when I started my channel, it was just for a couple of my mates to see, and I think I was getting like 20 views on each video, and like 18 of them was probably my mom, but still. The thing is, you should never give up, because as you might be able to see now, my channel is just about to reach 100 million views all up, which is crazy to think that in three years, all of this can happen. So if you're wanting to start a YouTube channel or you've got one going at the moment, definitely don't give up. Don't stop doing what you love. Now I have to go from making an inspirational speech to eating a mullet. And then I could make a burger called the McMullet. Surprise, no one's ever thought of adding Mick in front of it before. We're gonna try it. Mullet bites, take a look at that. I'm gonna eat this one. Kind of tastes like Trevally. I've been getting hate mail from Gordon Ramsay because you can obviously see that my cooking skills are next level. It's probably waiting for me to get food poisoning from one of my catching cooks. <laughs> this is gonna be my dinner and my energy for tonight when I'm shark fishing out there. I'm gonna, I'm literally gonna stay out there all night until five o'clock in the morning. This is what I've got for food. Mullet. So yeah, thanks so much. Make sure you like and subscribe. Don't forget the shout out competition that I'm running on this video. Like, comment, subscribe to enter that. And yeah, I'm gonna keep eating these mullet, but yeah, I'll see you again in the next adventure.